demonstrate the move called Black Dragon Wags Its Tail. Wind rolls the lotus leaf. Lion shakes its head. Tiger hugs its head. It's a long name, and it's kind of an involved movement. You're going to start off balancing into the left foot, facing towards the corner, right foot forward. Both hands at the hilt, sword stabbing up towards the corner. So the first thing that happens is the right foot will step back and turn out. The right hand starts coming down, left hand into the sword hand form, touches the inside of the wrist. I'm going to turn to the right as far as I can. The left foot's going to turn in. Then the sword's going to circle around. Then I'm going to spin 180 degrees in the ball of my foot. So I open my hands. Left foot comes forward as the hands come together on the hilt, sword parallel to the ground. Now, when I do the spinning motion, I want to put, focus all my weight onto, the, onto just behind the ball of the foot. I want to feel the heel become very light so my foot can pivot around the ball of the foot easily. Now, what, for safety, if you're having a, you're with a, on a sticky floor or wearing sh sticky shoes, when you're going to do this spin around, you can also kind of walk it around so that you can make sure you don't twist your knee. Do what's safe for you. So let me do that again, breaking it up to, the, to more of the individual pieces of the connecting the movements to the names. So you start off facing the corner, the step back, bring the sword down and turn, that's the Black dragon wags its tail. The circling around is the wind rose the lotus leaf. The spin around is the lion shaking its head. And the hands coming together with the foot coming forward. That's the tiger hugs its head. And for one more viewpoint, one different angle, I step back. Circle around, circle, open, bring the hands in. And that's the black dragon wags its tail. Wind rolls the lotus leaf. Lion shakes its head. Tiger hugs its head.